Welcome to game two of the Reading Freshman Football Rockets. First home game today here, Brian, back at uh, yeah. good old Hollingsworth Stadium. Nice to be back. Huh? And this was a game that almost didn't happen because they didn't <laughs> have it on the schedule up until about two days ago. So happy to have Acton Boxborough here. I tell you, looking at the size of these teams, it's about 40 guys on the Reading side, 15 players on Acton Boxborough. And if you remember those guys from last year, Brian, the year before, yeah. those guys were big, tough, tough strong guys. So even if even with 15, they're going to see a ton of playing time. But if, if they get the right 15, uh, it could be a war. So Acton Boxborough is always tough. Uh, but uh, I'm looking at their quarterback over here. He looks like he's about six foot five, kid. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's tall dude. So nonetheless, I just, uh, big win last week, eight nothing. You know, early on, I know that there's uh, got another week under their belt, another bunch of plays coming out here. So uh, looking forward to game number two here at uh, Reading uh, Stadium. Here, we'll come back for the kickoff. You ready? All right, here we go, set for the kickoff here. It's Brendan Fox, number 68, to kick it off here, Brian. My son's going to kill me because he's the captain for the day. Him and uh, him and Ben Ferranta, they went out, but we took some pictures. Short kick just over the first. That's a live ball right there. Wow, live ball, and did Redding get it? Wow, uh, yeah, Acton Boxbro, very fortunate there. I don't know what the sense of, a uh, little, not, not a big sense of urgency there, but once yeah. it's past 10 yards, man, that's wide open. So Acton Boxbro is going to take over here at, First and ten at about their own 42-yard line. That looks like we get Damari in the middle there. Big quarterback here. He throws it out first play and gets tipped right there. Number 67 is right in there. Jake Jander. I laugh. I you know, we get the new uh, we get the new list uh, put out today by uh, yeah. the football moms. This is Robert Kajander. and now that is his, na his name. But uh, oh, it is. Don't call him Robert. Call him Jay. No. All right. All right, here we go. Big number tw uh, 10 here. He's huge back there. Right here, it's an inside handoff. Oh, he gets met immediately, and then Oki wraps him up. Nice job by Dan O'Connor in there, and he gets stacked up in the middle. Number 40 was in there as well, which is Adam Deemer. So he, Deemer clogged him up, and Oki picked him up from behind and brought him down for a loss. So call it third and 14 right now. He's back to pass. He swings out right. Oki's trying to pursue here on the run. He lofts it up. and is, oh, Good good protection right there by number five, Nick Perez. Also back there was um, Ben Ferrante. So it's going to be fourth and long here. Um, doesn't quite look like that Acton Bucks Road team from last year to start this game. But nonetheless, it's early. Nice start for the Rockets. D. They love to get the ball back right here. You may see them uh, kick this thing away. They're set up for a play here, though. Fourth and 14. Handoff right up the gut. He cuts left and right. Nice tackle right there. Who else? Number 11, Damari. You can pick out him just nice. by his style. He closes that hole. Nice juke by number four. And Damari slams it shut. And the Rockets are going to take over with excellent field position here to start their first drive. It's going to be the Acton Boxborough 42. So beautiful set there for the uh, Rocket D. Great plays by Damari, Deemer, and, and O'Connor on that set. We get Damari flanked by Trevor Thornton. He's, he's going to fall. Thornton, look at the hole he's got there. And Damari just gets tripped up at the end, but he rips it off for about eight. He had a huge hole there, Brian. That was a nice run. Nice start right there. Get Damari flanked by Thornton. Evan Tice is split right. As is Derek Van Horn. It's a high snap. Good job by Damari to keep up. He cuts back. Just makes an athletic move and gets very close to the first down. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe he might have got it here. So very, very close to it. We'll see where the where the spot is. A little bit of a high smart uh, snap there. I think that might be Jay Kajander snapping the ball here. They've had a little bit of trouble early on in practice trying to find out who that right guy is. That's Did a nice down. job last week. That was a little bit high. But it is a first down, though, so credit to Mari for making something out of nothing there. The big Dom DiCrescenzo on the left. The 60, Sean Beckin, who's the left side of the line, a couple of beasts. To Damari here, it's handoff right up to Thornton. He's got a huge hole up the middle. Fights it off again, and Thornton's going to go in. Beautiful play. 
Tell you, Thornton right up the middle is a huge hole. He spins it basically off tackle. And he rips it off for about 30 yards right there for the touchdown. So nice job by Trevor Thornton early in the season. There's a guy who's never played football before. And that's a tough job to do, but he's had some very, very tough runs uh, early in the season. And he it looked like they didn't want to touch him on that one, Brian. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to touch him. So good start for the Rockets here. Three plays from scrimmage. They're on the board. Defense looks great. Offense looks great. And the sun's yeah. coming out. So fast, it's better so than that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thornton flanking Damari. Damari looks to pass. He throws it underneath right there to Derek Van Horn. And, oh, geez. Almost in. They just pushed out. Your boy almost got in there, yeah. uh, Brian. Go they faster. tried that play last time, right? Yeah. He made a good play underneath, but uh, they just kept him out of there. So I'd like to see Derek getting some passes thrown to him anyway, huh? Yeah, I'll take it. That's great. So nice start here for the Rockets early on. Here we are, Ace Bryson coming up late. He's supposed to be working on the clock. He's, you know, out, he's <laughs> chatting with people. He's glad-handing everybody. They're talking to him about the 1985 Reading baseball team. You know, and then meanwhile, we don't know what the clock is running right now. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> Thursday afternoon football, Brian. Is this the best, know. right? We don't have to worry about you looking at your fantasy scores and missing, exactly. missing plays like you did. You can just miss them for other reasons now. Yeah, exactly. Here goes Foxy. Let's see if we can get some urgency here on this kickoff. That's a nice boot by Foxy there. Fielded cleanly at the 22. Cuts left and right, and right there, number three is in there. Who's our number? Th is that number three? I didn't see who hit that. Yeah. And do Kyle we have Kyle Flanagan. Kyle Flanagan, number three. Good thing you know that because they're not on the list either. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to talk to, uh, you know, not, to get this listen, it's a very, though. very, probably the most demanding job of all the coaches is actually the team moms. Yeah, right. Right? Kim D. Crescenzo and Julie Swanson. Gosh. They got their hands full. They, yeah, they, 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 they didn't know what they were, they were volunteering for. Here we go, first and 10 here from just about the 30. Inside handoff. He's got room number four. Big hole there. He's still on his feet. Number five, Perez rips him down, but that's after a 20-yard gain. And what was odd is I heard a whistle just before yeah, that. Yeah. There was a whistle that went off right before that snap, and I don't know where it came from. And I think uh, the, the Rockets hesitated looking on that. Sort of a weird play there, but they were looking for it as if it was motion. Instead, we get first and 10 from midfield here. Right up the middle, number four again, and he gets absolutely crushed by Damari, but slowed down by number 40, Deemer. So Deemer slows him down again, and Damari picks up the trash. Here we are, second and ten. He lofts it up. He's got he's got room and he had him. Oh, he had, looked like he had uh, DiNapoli beat there, had a step on him, just overthrew him. Number 23 missed it, but a beautifully thrown pass there by number 10. And Rocket's fortunate right there. He was behind the D and uh, had a pass that he probably should have pulled in. Call it third and ten from midfield here. We got uh, Sean Cronin in there. We got Max Ramos in there on the defensive line. Got Foxy in there, too. Snap, he looks left. He throws it underneath. Oh, nice job on the slant, and he's got a first down there. Gets ripped down by uh, Perez. And number 15, um, Trevor Conroy, but that's a first down. Beautiful play. Just a little slant across the middle and rips it off at 15. So a couple of big plays here, and uh, Acton Boxborough is moving the ball like we saw them do uh, in 7th and 8th grade. High snap right up the gut there. Oh, just missed right there. Likes was Damari and number 68 in there. Brendan Fox comes in and slows him down with a little bit of help. So nice, tenacious D. You got to give the Rockets one thing that they learned. All these guys who did play Pop Warner is they were very, very good at gang tackling. And so if anyone gets there to slow him down, his teammates are usually right there to help him out. There it is, a pass left. The same exact play as the last one, sort of underneath there. Tips off his hands, and A.B. fortunate right now. That could have could have went right to Perez or right to uh, DiNapoli out there for a pick. It's going to be third and seven here. This is clearly going to be four-down territory for A.B. They're not wasting any time in the huddles, are they, Brian? No, they're not even calling. They're just running nonstop. Try to keep the Rockets uh, 
on their feet. He throws it out left. Oh, he two drops in a row. I think he heard footsteps from Con from Conroy. Trevor Conroy was right on him, about to give him a lick, and number 23 uh, might have hurt him. Two right off the hands for Acton Boxborough. Unfortunate because they were beautiful passes by their big number 10 quarterback. So this is a huge play right here for uh, Acton Boxborough to keep this thing going. He's going to throw it out here. Oh, and he throws it low and he drops it. Nice coverage right there by Derek Van Horn, 23, who's right on him, and that's going to turn the chains our way. So nice job right there by the Rockets, and we're going to get the ball back on offense. Nice coverage by DVH there, kid. You know it. Look at this kid, he's getting in plays on offense, <laughs> getting in plays on defense. He needed to make up for that one. He, I, bet he's, I bet he's kicking himself on that, that two-point conversion. He would have loved to have it. Yeah. Keep telling him he's got to go full speed, man. Damari goes in with the play. Thornton flanks him. Out left is Evan Tice. Top, I think we have Conroy. It's going to be inside handoff, the same one that brought the touchdown. And, man, Thornton rips it off for an easy seven. So big start for the Rockets right back at you. Very simple plays, but very good blocking up front on that right side. That's uh, Dan O'Connor, Dave Swanson on the right side in this one. We got big Dommy and we got big uh, Sean Beckenhues on the left sideline. Couple of beasts and they go right and he rips off a seven. Same thing that way, just another tie. Oh, that's a face mask right there. He rips it for the first down. We don't see any flag there. He yeah, grabbed right. his helmet and almost spun him right around. Yeah, right. We'll take the first down. We would have liked an extra 15, though. But nonetheless, Thornton fights it off, and he rips off 11 on his first two plays. A new set of downs here for the Rockets at their own 41. Thursday afternoon football, Brian. Is this the uh -huh. best? Right? We don't have to worry about you looking at your fantasy scores and missing, exactly. missing plays like you did. You can just miss them for other reasons now. Exactly. Here goes Foxy. Let's see if we can get some urgency here on this kickoff. That's a nice boot by Foxy there. Fielded cleanly at the 22. Cuts left and right. And right there, number three is in there. Who's our number three? Is that number three? I didn't see who hit that. Yeah. And do Kyle we have Flanagan. Kyle Flanagan, number three. Good thing you know that because they're not on the list either. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to talk to, uh, you know, not be, to get this listen, it's a very, though. very, probably the most demanding job of all the coaches is actually the team moms. Yeah, right. Right? Kim DiCrescenzo and Julie Swanson. Gosh. They got their hands full. They, yeah, they, 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 they didn't know what they were, they were volunteering for. Here we go, first and 10 here from just about the 30. Inside handoff. He's got room number four. Big hole there. He's still on his feet. Number five, Perez rips him down, but that's after a 20-yard gain. It was odd as I heard a whistle just before yeah, that. Yeah. There was a whistle that went off right before that snap, and I don't know where it came from. And I think uh, the, the Rockets hesitated looking on that. Sort of a weird play there, but they were looking for it as if it was motion. Instead, we got first and 10 from midfield here. Right up the middle, number four again, and he gets absolutely crushed by Damari, but slowed down by number 40, Deemer. So Deemer slows him down again, and Damari picks up the trash. Here we are, second and ten. He lofts it up. He's got he's got room and he had him. Oh, he had, looked like he had uh, DiNapoli beat there, had a step on him, just overthrew him. Number 23 missed it, but a beautifully thrown pass there by number 10. And Rocket's fortunate right there. He was behind the D and uh, had a pass that he probably should have pulled in. Call it third and ten from midfield here. We got uh, Sean Cronin in there. We got Max Ramos in there on the defensive line. Got Foxy in there, too. Snap, he looks left. He throws it underneath. Oh, nice job on the slant, and he's got a first down there. Gets ripped down by uh, Perez. And number 15, um, Trevor Conroy, but that's a first down. Beautiful play. Just a little slant across the middle and rips it off for 15. So a couple of big plays here, and uh, Acton Boxborough is moving the ball like we saw them do uh, in 7th and 8th grade. High snap right up the gut there. Oh, just missed right there. Likes was Damari and number 68 in there. Brendan Fox comes in and slows him down with a little bit of help. So nice, tenacious D. You got to give the Rockets one thing that they learned, all these guys who did play Pop Warner, is they were very, very good at gang tackling. 
And so if anyone gets there to slow him down, his teammates are usually right there to help him out. Here it is, a pass left. The same exact play as the last one, sort of underneath there. Tips off his hands, and A.B. fortunate right now. That could have could have went right to Perez or right to uh, DiNapoli out there for a pick. It's going to be third and seven here. This is clearly going to be four down territory for A.B. They're not wasting any time in the huddles, are they, Brian? No, they're not even calling. They're just running nonstop. Try to keep the Rockets... Uh, on their feet, he throws it out left. Oh, he two drops in a row. I think he heard footsteps from Con from Conroy. Trevor Conroy was right on him, about to give him a lick, and number 23 uh, might have hurt him. Two right off the hands for Acton Boxborough. Unfortunate because they were beautiful passes by their big number 10 quarterback. So this is a huge play right here for uh, Acton Boxborough to keep this thing going. He's going to throw it out here. Oh, and he throws it low, and he drops it. Nice coverage right there by Derek Van Horn, 23, who's right on him, and that's going to turn the chains our way. So nice job right there by the Rockets, and we're going to get the ball back on offense. Nice coverage by DVH there, kid. You know it. Look at this kid. He's getting in plays on offense, <laughs> getting in plays on defense. He needed to make up for that one. He, I, bet he's, I bet he's kicking himself on that, that two-point conversion. He would have loved to have it. Yeah. Keep telling him he's got to go full speed, man. Damari goes in with the play. Thornton flanks him. Out left is Evan Tice. Top, I think we have Conroy. It's going to be inside handoff, the same one that brought the touchdown. And, man, Thornton rips it off for an easy seven. So big start for the Rockets right back at you. Very simple plays, but very good blocking up front on that right side. That's uh, Dan O'Connor, Dave Swanson on the right side in this one. We got big Dommy and we got big uh, Sean Beckenhuis on the left sideline. Couple of beasts and they go right. And he rips off a seven. Same thing that way, just another tie. Oh, that's a face mask right there. He rips it for the first down. I don't see any flag there. He yeah, grabbed right. his helmet and almost spun him right around. Yeah, right. We'll take the first down. We would have liked an extra 15, though. But nonetheless, Thornton fights it off and he rips off 11 on his first two plays. A new set of downs here for the Rockets at their own 41. Damari flank, flanked by Thornton. Oh, it's a low snap there. Good job by Danny to keep it. He finds a hole and he turns it into. Oh, look at him cut back and make seven or eight out of it. That's a good job, athletic move to pick that thing up. We had Jonathan Grady, speedster in motion there. I would have loved to have seen what that play might have been. It could very well have been just that play, but yeah. I think he, I think he had to grab that and run with it, and he takes it for eight. On the sideline, you know. No, nope, I hear you. Here we go, second and two here. It's going to be a keeper right up the gut, and he's going to take it for, uh, doesn't even wait for the uh, the lead for Thornton, but he runs right behind Dave Swanson, gets the first down. It's a nice job by Swanee in there, nice job by um, Sean Beckenhuis right up the middle. So it looks like it's timeout right here for Acton Boxborough ask, asking for water. Yeah, to your point, uh, Brian, we're in game two now. Might be helpful to get a wristband on Damari, too. He's coming back for a lot of plays. But yeah. to be honest with you, there's probably not a whole lot of plays in the book right now. No. But nonetheless, uh, Rockets look very good early here. And um, up 6 nothing right here with a timeout. Let me know. Listen, big Steve DiCrescenza working the chains over there. They tried to get three guys, couldn't pull it off. They grabbed Logan Fortuna over there, too. <laughs> the player, he's, he, he's, not, he's not dressed today. He's over there, and they said, Logan, you're going to work here. So I can imagine DiCrescenzo just over there just, you know, if you're not doing it to his specifications, it's going to yeah. be rough. He'd be, he'd be better off getting yelled at by the coaches on this side, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Steve DiCrescenzo, I can't see who's behind who's helping him over there. I'd like to give him some credit, but nonetheless, I can't see that far anyway. Yeah. Of course, I can see Steve from, you know, <laughs> you know miles away, right? But here we go. It's going to be first and ten. That's the end of the first quarter here. So Damari's going to be flanked by uh, Thornton, as usual. Lower screen here is DiNapoli. Get DVH split right. Handoff right up the middle to Thornton. Does a good job holding on to that ball. Man, he drives that thing for very, very close to first down. He looked like he you know, didn't have a handle on that ball, but I'd like to see him pull that in and put two hands on it. 
So nice run by Trevor right there. Let's call it second and half a yard right here. Play from Coach Federer on the sideline. In motion, DiNapoli. Now he's back in motion this way. It's going to be an inside handoff to, uh, to – I was just about to call him Nick again. It's Adam, but Adam takes it for the easy first down. So in motion left, in motion right, he takes it for five, gets the first down. That's a new play for this week we've seen, Bri. Yep. I think we had, I think there might be a couple of passes uh, in the bag of tricks coming up. Maybe we'll see some of those later. They break the huddle. Jacob Jandis is our center, flanked by Swanee and Oki left, and Becky and Houston DeCrescenzo. He follows DeCrescenzo. Oh, look at the look at the hole he has over there. But there's a flag way behind the play here. I don't know what they're going to call here. Hopefully it's going to be a hold on Redding here, and it looked like it was a hold. I, di I didn't see it anywhere near the play, so it might be on the right-hand side of this thing. So unfortunate for the Rockets. It's not going to move it to make it first and 20. But what a hole. He, fall, he falls to Crescenzo and, and, and Beckenhuis. Now, these are skill position players. that They, they get so big, Brian, that when they get to the, uh, the, the freshman team, you put them where, the, where they're most valuable. And on that line, the yeah. holes those guys bust open, you and I could have made that run. Yep. I, right now, I'd be doing a dance in the end zone right now, <laughs> not realizing that we were actually um, had a holding call on us. <laughs> and then I'd have to get a, uh, take the golf cart back to uh, the 50-yard line. All right, first and 20 here, back to the 45. Split left, Tyler Lindmark and Evan Tice. And it looks like we have a timeout called here. So I think that might have been a timeout on Redding. And we'll take a little break here before we come back. Back on, it's first and 20 here after the timeout. Let's see what Coach Federa has in his bag of tricks here. In motion right there is Tice, I believe. He cuts it up. Nice little hole there. Nice cutback move. He gets about five back. So inside, oh, sorry, that was Ty Tyler Lindmark, I think. It was 88, so nice cutback by Lindmark. 88 and 89, you know, my eyes, this, but it's just about the same thing, Brian. Exactly. I can't tell. So. I can't tell. I'm just happy I know some of the names this week. There's no memorizing 40 names, Brian. No. No. Your short term memory's been been gone for years. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm Tim O'Connor, by the way. We went to high school <laughs> together. We graduated together. Remember? <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's vaguely, vaguely. Second, <laughs> second and fifteen here for the Rockets. Kajanda goes out the, for the snap. It's going to be a swing pass out. Ooh, that thing was going to be jumped. It was they look trying to swing it back out to Lindmark. Big number ten was all over that one. So thrown a little bit short anyway. But that was spied out. That might have been a, a – it could have been dropped for a loss if it was caught there. So it's going to be third and long upcoming. Number 83, Pat Dwyer was on that play, the flash hammer. Remember that from last the year? Flash hammer, yeah. Yeah, the flash hammer. He's, uh, he's, he's not really a flash or a hammer. <laughs> hence the, none the – here we go. Yeah, inside handoff. Look at the hole that Thornton's got to run through. He's still, he's high-stepping through there. Look at girl Campbell right there, number 34, yeah, right? right? <laughs> Pulling on his shirt. Great play by uh, Thornton. I'm not saying that to knock Pat. His dad's a great guy. We had a nice little laugh about it, calling him the flash hammer last year. Joe, Joe helped us out on the camera. But Pat's a great kid, and uh, following that, Thornton just rips one off for about 25 and at the end, he, they just holding on to the shirt there. You like that? 34th? Did he look like Earl, Earl he Campbell did there? He look like Earl, yeah. I was in Austin, Texas at Earl Campbell's they had a bar and grill they had there. I was there last week. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I didn't go in, though, because, uh, you know, I'm responsible when I'm out working. <laughs> so here we go. Damari. This time it's a pass. Right, the handoff right up the middle of Thornton. Spin a Rama move. He's still on his feet. He wants in. He wants in right now. Wow, nice spin move for uh, for, for uh, Trevor too. So Trevor's showing some instincts. Uh, you know, first time. You know, here's the thing about freshman football, right? If you're an athlete, uh, you, you can turn into a player here. You know, what the difference is is I used to getting hit, and I know Trevor's a hockey player, so I'm sure not only is he used to getting hit, he's probably more likely used to dishing hits out. Yeah, he's a big tough kid. 
So it's going to be first and goal here from the three-yard line. For all the work he's done on this series, might be justice to give that to Thornton for perhaps a second TD of the day. But look for Thornton to look for Damari this close in themselves. Oh, it's going to be a pass across the middle. Right there, beautiful play, Trevor Conroy. Wow, this one, it's a play we haven't seen. We talked about it, right? A little yeah. across the middle, a little screen right there. Not even a screen, but right a slant right towards the post. And uh, Trevor Conroy pulls it in. Beautiful pass by Damari. I love to see him mix it up like that, Brian. Yep. So everyone's thinking, you see the big bull rusher, uh, 34, they're going to hand it off to him. Backs off, throws it across to uh, Trevor Conroy, who makes a nice catch. He clearly had his man beat, and the Rockets are going to try to make it a clean 14 here, up 12 nothing in the second quarter. Snap to Damari. He's going to, oh, he's going to keep it himself. He looks for the whole hole. He spins back in, and he is in. Nice job by Dan right there. So they missed the two earlier, but they get it. They get, uh, they get the two right here. So uh, right now it's going to be Rockets 14 and Acton Boxborough nothing. It's supposed to be two for I. Brendan Fox set to kick off his third one of the game. First one's a little pooch just over the line. Next to the last one was a bomb. Let's see what Brendan does here. It's a nice kick right there. Fielded cleanly at the 23. Lane's closed, but number five makes a great move there. One last line there. Wow, number 89 was Evan Tice, and he's got some speed and good thing. Because it looks like they did a nice job of closing up those lanes. He busted it out right, and he took it back for about maybe 25, 35 yards. So great return for, uh, I think it's number four for uh, Acton Boxborough. And they're going to start in Rocket territory here, first and ten. Looks like it's first and ten here. To your point, Brian, off camera here, you say one of those kids are banged up. Now they have 14 kids in the lineup. Is there a minimum? <laughs> I know there isn't Pop Warner, right? Yeah. If, you, if you had 14, you'd have to forfeit the game. Right here inside handoff number four. Nice move right there, but a beautiful job by Adam Diemer to hold on. Very athletic play by number four, but Diemer makes an equally uh, athletic one to keep him to a short game because he had a lot of room in front of him. But, yeah, I wonder if uh, I know the Pop Warner rules. If you have uh, under 15, uh, you're technically not supposed to play with that. And right now, mm -hmm. this Acton Boxwood team is playing with 14 players. It's going to be a pass right here. He pumps it. Number 17's wide open. He's got a lot of room ahead of him. He cuts back, and DiNapoli's the last line of defense. Trev Conroy playing off him a little bit on that play, but he's wide open there, makes one athletic move, takes it for another 20 yards. So it's a 30-yard gain right there, and thanks to DiNapoli to save the touchdown. Can you see the end zone? Yeah. Okay. You're going to be seeing my head, too. All right, here we go. First and 10 here. Just about red zone. Oh, the ball's in the ground right there. And who hops on it? Number 66 is right on it. Joe Gilligan. Beautiful play by Joe Gilligan to hop on the fumble. And once again, I hear a whistle early, Brian. Where's that coming from? You know what? We're, we're hearing the whistles from the practice field. The varsity's yeah. playing behind us. I heard a whistle before that, and that's exactly what we're hearing. We're hearing yeah. the field next to us. And... Uh, this time the Rockets don't let up on it. Joe Gilligan pounces on that ball on the fumble. So huge play right there for the Rockets. Pull it off and Acton Bucks was going to go back to the drawing board here. Yeah, they were going in too. We got Nick Perez. Nick Perez is in there right now with Adam Deemer. Nick Perez at QB. Deemer flanking him. Perez handoff right up the middle. They get a, it looks like motion on Redding, but Deemer does a nice tough run. Nice wrapped up by 17, but it looks like motion, and they get a move with the Rockets back five and redo first down here. So it looked like one of the linemen jumped. We got a whole new uh, offensive line in there, too. We got Foxy in there. We have Anthony Masucci in there, Sean Cronin. We said 57 was who, Bry? We had a... Uh, that was someone we didn't have on the list, but I think we had them named. I'll find out for us. Stephen Jones, maybe? Stephen Jones, that's right. I think you're right. The 72 split rights. Keegan Lee, one of the Lee brothers. Inside handoff right now to Deemer, and he gets stacked up immediately, right? 
We had a couple of linemen going. We got two linemen on a, on a middle linebacker here, so it looks like maybe some confusion on the line who's got who, but fortunately the Rockets paying for that one, so it's going to be third and 12 right now. Perez comes in with the play. Got Steven Jones, Masucci left. We've got Joe Gilligan in there as well. Sean Cronin, right guard. Snap to Perez. Perez keeps it, makes an athletic move and stays on his feet. Still on his feet. Turns something into nothing. It's going to be fourth and about, call it five from here. Perez really did that all on his own. You may see the Rockets kick here for some field position. Uh, up 14 nothing here. Going to be getting late in the second quarter right now. All right, it's a fourth down play, and it looks like they're gonna, the Rockets are going to go for it. Risky play here for Coach Federa and the boys, but wants to see what Perez and his uh, team can do here. It's going to be a keeper for Perez. Wow, he cuts back again. Number 31 does not bite on it. Unfortunately, he's going to be taken for a loss, so... That keeper right there snuffed out by number 31 beautifully, and the Rockets are going to turn the ball over essentially in four plays with the same field position they had at the, the time of the fumble. So A.B.'s going to take over here with excellent field position here. We've got to be getting close. I would think maybe it was uh, the fact that we're getting very, very late in the second quarter yeah. that they might go for that play. So we'll find out. We don't know what the timing is here. See if he can hear it. All right. They're getting right into it here. Look for him to pass here, too, because he does look to pass. He lofts it up. Beautiful pass. Oh, wow. Nice job right there. It was number 14, Ben Ferrante. Today's captain. He looked like captain out there. Beautiful coverage. Turns around at the very last minute. Yep. And they almost pulled that ball down himself. So excellent pass. Excellent coverage. Good looking play all around, but a great defensive play by Ferrante. Minimal time off the clock with the incomplete pass. Big number 10, so it's right underneath the slot, and he gets met immediately by 40, Deemer. Deemer's come up with a lot of big plays in the middle here. Good pass and catch, but Deemer puts a lick on him. It's going to be third, and let's call it uh, maybe a little over four. They're hurrying up in the offense. They don't want to get the Rocket defense set here. Inside handoff. He's got a lot of room right there, number four, and he gets absolutely crunched right there. See who got him was Dom DiCrescenzo came way, way across, so he gets the first down, but Dom uh, makes him pay for it. it. Looks like it might be close to, I don't know, let's say first and maybe first and goal here. We'll see. Maybe just outside the 10. Just inside, it looks like. So going to be first and goal here. We don't know how much time is left on the clock, but they call timeout here, the Rockets, to try to regroup. Listen, Brian, I heard the uh, Ice Cream Man uh, song going on. Yep. And uh, I know these kids are in high school now, but I saw about 14 kids who wanted to turn around and run for that guy. Oh, you bet. Right? I know I did. 15, that was one. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, uh, ice cream out of the Ice Cream Man truck? The little uh, bar there with the Oreo stuff on the outside there, the crumble. Oh, what do they the call it? Chocolate, chocolate crumble, eclair? The vanilla. The yeah, chocolate yeah, eclair, yeah. and then they have the strawberry shortcake, yeah. the same <laughs> yeah. thing. Yep. I could eat about 12 of those. Yeah, those are definitely. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, speaking of eating about 12 of those, my son Dan eats 12 times a day, <laughs> yeah, every hour and a half. He doesn't eat a lot, uh, a lot each sitting, but yeah, when you yeah. eat 12 times a day, you just, you count, you, you come out the next day and two gallons of milk and four boxes of cereal and like, you know, ha, ha, you know 22 pounds of steak are gone, 24 hours. <laughs> here we go. First and goal here. I tell you, this kid for active box for, he's got a lot of, he's huge, number number 10. He's a freshman, but, uh, but he's also got plenty of time back there. Overthrows right here. We are hearing those whistles again. Yeah, it threw me off. That and it's time. throwing everybody off. We're hearing the whistles from the practice field on the varsity, and they're happening in the middle of these plays. And uh, you know, it's only it, it doesn't seem to be throwing the, the the team off. No, just throwing you and me off here. So he overthrows that ball, Ferrante. He, man, he looked like he was making a pass to him. Rockets got to get some men out there on the left. We get DVH out there now. Uh, Conroy and Ferrante, three split. Left, look for, a, look for a left handoff here to number four, though. Got a lot of uh, athletes split left here. That's exactly what the play is. Oh, oh man, and Dominic DiCrescenzo says, no, thank you. 
Did I call that play or what? That was a nice one. They try to lay everyone yeah. out there. They're going to call it. And DiCrescenzo absolutely hammers him for a loss. So now it's third and goal, but there's about 15 or 16 yards. And Steve DiCrescenzo over there, he's he's getting pumped. He's getting pumped over there. He's going he's gonna to throw that uh, yardstick like a javelin. He's so happy <laughs> right now. Nonetheless, it looks like timeout for Acton Box. So it's going to be third and uh, call it 12. Defensive line in there. We got Larry Lorenzer in there, Jay Kajander, Dominic in the middle, and Dan O'Connor. It's a big front four for the Rockets. It's a pretty big team for uh, Active Boxborough, too. He's going to look right here. Oh, he's got room. Oh, man. Oki was right in there, put some pressure on him. Oh, now he's going to get in trouble. So nice job by Oki to string him out. And then in comes uh, DiCrescenzo and, and Conroy to push him back for a big loss. So credit the coverage right there, though, Brian. Yeah. He had a little bit of room. Oki got in there, and he just got around him, big number 10, but pushed him back. And then out comes DiCrescenzo and uh, Conroy to clean it up. He probably should have just thrown that ball away. Yeah, right? fourth and goal now from the 20. We started first and goal from inside the 10. Now it's fourth and goal from the 20. It's going to be a pass here. He lofts it up, up over his head here. Beautiful play right there by DiNapoli. DiNapoli had excellent, excellent coverage there. So he was all over him. He threw it in there. He could have, you know what? It's actually a great play by uh, by uh, Adam to knock that down versus yeah. actually catch it. He might have learned that one from his big brother. Don't catch it there. You just go to the 20. Now you're going to take over first and 10 here from around the 30. And I think that may be the half. So yeah. with that, we have the Rockets 14, Acton Boxborough 0. All right, here we go. A la the Patriots again, two games in a row. The Rockets score last, and they get the ball back in the half. The first kickoff for A.B., and it's a short one. Right there, they got a pounce on it right there. Nice job by number 84, and that's Jonathan Grady. So Jonathan pounces on it. It looked like they, were try they did that intentionally, squib yeah. kick, try to go get it. Rockets are going to take over here first and 10 from about their, call it, 39-yard line. So short kick by A.B. and good field position for the Rockets to start. I have Nick Perez is going to take the offense. You'll usually see him flanked by number 40, Deemer. Those are the two guys who will swap out for Damari and Thornton. Number 14, Ben Ferrante is out there as well. 57, we said, with Stephen Jones. See who's doing the snapping for us in this one. High snap right there. Oh, it's a keeper for Perez. Athletically gets around him. Cuts back in. He gets taken down after about three. So good pursuit there by number 23. He's been a solid player for A.B. all around. This time uh, Perez's athleticism gets him outside number 68. But they haven't been fooled too many times on that swap. Number 66, Joe Gilligan's in there. Number 54, Anthony Masucci as well. Can we see who's taking the snaps in there, Bri? No. Not sure. We'll take a look. We'll see if he breaks the huddle a little early. Get that number. Foxy. Foxy's in there, number 68. Perez flanked by Deemer. That one's an inside hand off to Deemer. Good pressure right there. He gets ripped down by the neck. Maybe a horse collar right there. Certainly looked like it from here. <laughs> the ref is right in front of him. He just didn't believe it. Yeah, that looked like yeah, that one looked a little rough, but a good play by number 68. Looked like he grabbed him right by the collar, though, which normally would be 15. So, all or, right, or maybe if it's inadvertent, I guess they call it five. But guess what? The Rockets get neither, and it's going to be third and ten here. O-line, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Because they're getting, there we go, third and ten here. Split right. He's going to keep her to Perez. He's got room up the middle. Oh, I hit that whistle going. Perez takes it, and he reaches, and he gets the first down. So athletic play by Nick Perez for the first down, and they move the chains. Nice job there. I was looking up the top number 26. I wasn't sure who that was. Uh, I want to get to these guys' name properly when I can. But nonetheless, first down there for the Rockets. Sean Cronin and Joe Gilligan right side. And that one was all, just about all Perez there. Split wide right is Grady. Let's see if they'll let Perez throw the ball one of these ones. Oh, he keeps it right behind Deemer. Gets pulled by the caller again. He drives it and still spins around and gets five tough ones out of it, maybe even six. 
So Perez does it again here. Get some good athletes in the backfield. Certainly Perez and Demari are both excellent. I'd love to see if Coach Federer will let, uh, let us see if Nick can uh, throw the ball here. We saw Damari throwing underneath for the touchdown. Coach Federer gives him the play, takes it back in. Rockets break the huddle. Adam Deemer flanking Perez. Out left, Ferrante and Grady. This one's a keeper for Perez. He follows the block, still on his feet. And he gets wrapped up after a short gain, maybe call it two. So it's going to be third and let's say four upcoming here. We've got Michael Lloyd, number 17, checking into the game. Rockets break the huddle. Split right, Lloyd and Ferrante, top of the screen. Goes to Perez, he hands it off to Deemer, and Deemer gets basically pulled down to the background. Backfield, I mean. Big push by the offensive line of Acton Boxburg, and he didn't have a chance by the time he gets hands on the ball. There were three guys on him. So it's fourth down here from midfield. Brady seven, James Neff Gatchel coming in the, in the game here. Hope I pronounced that right. See if the Rockets can get a new set of chains here. They did it on the last one with a very athletic play by Perez. It's a keeper for Perez there, and they're all over him in the backfield. No chance there for Nick once again. Big push on the line there for Acton Boxborough. Of course, there's no second team for Acton Boxborough either, right? Yeah, right? The same exact guys who were playing almost the entire game. So some big dudes there, and they they commanded the line on the last couple plays there against the Rockets. So it's going to be first, first and uh, ten here for Acton Boxborough from midfield. Rockets look like they're missing a, missing a few players here. They had to call timeout. They didn't have a, they didn't have uh, 11 guys out in the field. So they're going to go back and uh, get ready here. They called for uh, they called for a, a certain defense, and they didn't have everyone lined up ready to go. We'll be back in a sec. Rockets lining up with number 64, Sean Crone, and Max Ramos in there as well, along with Foxy and uh, looks like Stephen Jones on the front of that line. We got F Kyle Flanagan and um, Dana Isbell in there, backer. It's going to be a pass here. He passed it underneath. Good play. He's wide open out there. Oh, nice job right there by Kenny to slow him down. And in comes Damari to crush him. A couple of guys help him out, Damari and Isbell. But a beautiful play out there. No one really out there on him. Zach Kenyon came in and slowed him down, but they pick up a first down there. So big play for uh, Acton Box for him. It's going to be first and 10 from the Rocket 31-yard line. They're getting right back into it. Don't want to let this Rocket D... Rest. It's going to be a pass again. He throws it underneath. Oh, gosh. Right there was Dana Isbell. Almost picked it off. Almost threw it right into his hands. Would have liked to see Dana. Dana's a good little athlete. would like to see what he could do if he pulled that one in. So good play by Isbell. Maybe not the greatest lead pass there, uh, although he's had some great passes today, number 10. That wasn't his best. Right up the middle, number four, and he gets apps. Oh, he gets... Good job by Damari to hang on. Damari hits him and holds on. That's one of Acton Boxborough's best athletes, number four. Up the middle, he's a good runner, but he just met his match in uh, in Damari. Damari can be an equalizer anywhere, can he, in the middle of the field? Oh, yeah. Very few people can close a hole like him. Max Ramos and Foxy come off. Right there, thrown underneath, and right there, number 88. There he goes, Tyler Lindmark picks it up. He's got nothing but green in front of him. Lindmark tripping it up here, and he gets crunched out of bounds at the 30-yard line, but intercepted by Tyler Lindmark, and he takes it about 50 yards. Gets hit by three or four active Boxborough guys, but that's a pass that got away from the big quarterback. Lindmark was in the right place at the right time, 
Yeah, but there's a flag down here, and uh, we're going to see what the, what the call is here. They might be calling them with too many guys on. I don't know what the, what the call is here, but they're going to bring this thing back, and they may play the down over again. I'm not sure if that was before or after the, uh, the interception. We'll find out what it is. Let's see. All right, so it looks like the foul was after the interception. Unfortunately, it's going to bring back the, uh, the big run back by Lindmark, but nonetheless, the Rockets do get the ball offensively. In comes James Neff Gatchel, Michael Lloyd in there as well. Coach Federa giving the play to Nick Perez to run in, so the Rockets will take over, but it looked like it was a spot foul. I don't know what exactly the, foul, the call was, Brian, but nonetheless, it did happen after the um, interception. The Rockets are going to take over, so a couple big plays here for the Rockets to stymie, uh, you know, active box pro when they get some momentum behind them. Perez breaks the huddle. Brendan Fox goes out to take the snap. Be a keeper for Perez. Goes left. He gets wrapped up immediately. I think that's number 23. I said he's one of the best athletes on the field for active box, bro. He's been everywhere for him. He's got to be getting tired, though. I don't think he's come off the field the whole game. Nonetheless, Coach Federa, Coach Murphy doing a great job of getting an awful lot of players in here for the Rockets. 14 nothing. Seems like a lot more than that, doesn't it, Brian? Yep. Pretty much had this game in, in hand. Much of the, uh, you know, basically you get a couple of big plays, a couple of big runs by, and, and uh, series for Acton Boxborough that get snuffed out on some turnovers. And they're a killer. You can't do a turnover to good teams. They'll make you pay. Number five, Perez comes in with the play. Joe Gilligan, Sean Crone on the right side. Michael Lloyd, Ben Ferrante split wide right. going to be a pass. We said we wanted to see this out of power. Oh, Perez had to pull it down. He turns it into about a yard or two, but um, it was very good pressure up the middle again. Didn't have the chance to have that pass um, sort of set up. If he had a little bit more time, he would have loved to see uh, Nick throw the ball. He's got a great arm. Number 76. Robert Tarasuk in there. Is it Robert or Bob? I don't know. Uh -huh. I probably butchered Tarasuk too, but he comes into the play number 80 as well as Alex next Gatchel. Foxy on the snap. Looks like we have Deemer flanking. He pulls Tarasuk over, lines him up in the, on the wing. There's a wide out. He's going to throw, throw the pass and he throws it a little bit short. Once again, number 10 was going to be all over. Uh, looked like Ferrante out there. Not the worst outcome right there because big number 10 was spying that thing out. It was a little bit underthrown. And once I said, not the worst thing for the Rockets. So it's going to be fourth down here from the 30. I'll try the 28 yard line. Let's see what coach wants to do. It's got to be getting late here in the third quarter. Rockets lining up with number 64, Sean Crone, and Max Ramos in there as well, along with Foxy and uh, looks like Stephen Jones on the front of that line. We got F Kyle Flanagan and um, Dana Isbell in there, backer. It's going to be a pass here. He passed it underneath. Good play. He's wide open out there. Oh, nice job right there by Kenny to slow him down, and in comes Damari to crush him. A couple of guys help him out, Damari and Isbell. But a beautiful play out there. No one really out there on him. Zach Kenyon came in and slowed him down, but they pick up a first down there. So big play for uh, Acton Boxburg. It's going to be first and 10 from the Rocket 31-yard line. They're getting right back into it. Don't want to let this Rocket D rest. Going to be a pass again. He throws it underneath. Oh, gosh. Right there was Dana Isbell. Almost picked it off. Almost threw it right into his hands. 
Would have liked to have seen Dana. Dana's a good little athlete. would like to see what he could do if he pulled that one in. So good play by Isbell. Maybe not the greatest lead pass there, uh, although he's had some great passes today, number 10. That wasn't his best. Right up the middle, number four, and he gets apps. Oh, he get good job by Damari to hang on. Damari hits him and holds on. That's one of Acton Boxborough's best athletes, number four. Up the middle, he's a good runner, but he just met his match in, uh, in Damari. Damari can be an equalizer anywhere, can he, in the middle of the field? Oh, yeah. Very few people can close a hole like him. Max Ramos and Foxy come off. Right there, thrown underneath, and right there, number 88. There he goes. Tyler Lindmark picks it up. He's got nothing but green in front of him. Lindmark tripping it up here, and he gets crunched out of bounds at the 30-yard line, but intercepted by Tyler Lindmark, and he takes it about 50 yards. Gets hit by three or four active Boxborough guys, but that's a pass that got away from the big quarterback. Lindmark was in the right place at the right time, yeah, but there's a flag down here, and uh, we're going to see what the, what the call is here. They might be calling him with too many guys on. I don't know what the what the call is here, but they're going to bring this thing back, and they may play the down over again. I'm not sure if that was before or after the, uh, the interception. We'll find out what it is. Let's see. All right, so it looks like the foul was after the interception. Unfortunately, it's going to bring back the uh, the big run back by Lindmark, but nonetheless, the Rockets do get the ball offensively. In comes James Neff Gatchel, Michael Lloyd in there as well. Coach Federa giving the play to Nick Perez to run in, so the Rockets will take over, but it looked like it was a spot foul. I don't know what exactly the, foul, the call was, Brian, but nonetheless, it did happen after the um, interception. The Rockets are gonna take over, so a couple big plays here for the Rockets to stymie uh, you know, active box pro when they get some momentum behind them. Perez breaks the huddle, Brendan Fox goes out to take the snap. Be a keeper for Perez. Goes left. He gets wrapped up immediately. I think that's number 23. I said he's one of the best athletes on the field for active box, bro. He's been everywhere for him. He's got to be getting tired, though. I don't think he's come off the field the whole game. Nonetheless, Coach Federa, Coach Murphy doing a great job of getting an awful lot of players in here for the Rockets. 14 nothing. Seems like a lot more than that, doesn't it, Brian? Yep. Pretty much had this game in, in hand. Much of the, uh, you know, basically you get a couple of big plays, a couple of big runs by, and, and uh, series for Acton Boxborough that get snuffed out on some turnovers. And they're a killer. You can't do a turnover to good teams. They'll make you pay. Number five, Perez comes in with the play. Joe Gilligan, Sean Crone on the right side. Michael Lloyd, Ben Ferrante split wide right. It's going to be a pass. We said we wanted to see this. Out of, oh, look, Perez had to pull it down. He turns it into about a yard or two, but um, it was very good pressure up the middle again. Didn't have the chance to have that pass um, sort of set up. If he had a little bit more time, he would have loved to see uh, Nick throw the ball. He's got a great arm. Number 76, Robert Tarasuk in there. Is it Robert or Bob? I don't know. Uh -huh. I probably butchered Tarasuk too, but... He comes into the play number 80 as well as Alex Nickgatchel. Foxy on the snap. Looks like we have Deemer flanking. He pulls Tarasuk over, lines him up in the, on the wing. There's a wide out. He's gonna throw, it a, throw the pass and he throws it a little bit short. Once again, number 10 was going to be all over. Uh, looked like Ferrante out there. Not the worst outcome right there because big number 10 was spying that thing out. It was a little bit underthrown. And once I said, not the worst thing for the Rockets. So it's going to be fourth down here from the 30. I'll try the 28 yard line. Let's see what coach wants to do. It's got to be getting late here in the third quarter. Oh, 
did he? All right. Here we go. This one's going to be a, it's going to be a kick here for Thornton. See where this bounce goes. Good bounce for the Rockets over midfield. Number 89 right there is Evan Tice. And to your point, it looks like uh, Ty Lindmark, after that big return, uh, maybe got injured on that play, and they're checking out his shoulder right now. So it's unfortunate for Tyler. After a great athletic play, he runs it back. The penalty brings it back, and add a little insult to injury. He got hurt on the play, so hopefully Tyler will be okay. He's getting checked on on the sidelines right now. So the Rockets come in right there. Uh, Thornton kicks it away. Just before midfield, it's going to be first and 10, and it looks like they are switching sides right now. It's going to be f the f start of the fourth quarter here, Brian. So 14 nothing for the Rockets here. They've mainly had this game in command. Dan Damari says they're looking for one more player here. And in goes Mike DiPietro, number two. He's got some wheels. So first and 10 here for Acton Boxborough. He looks like the throw that's going to throw it underneath. Oh, and he's, he heard the footsteps right there. Dana Isbell right on him, and Deemer was going to come in and crunch him. Number 23 said he's a very good athlete. He's dropped a couple in his hands, but he's been left out there to dry too, so. Love to see some pressure on this big guy. Make him make a play. Good cut back there. And oh, here comes Damari. Closes the door. If one guy slows him down, and number 68, Foxy did, Damari came in and cleaned him up very quickly. And I think Stephen Jones is in there as well. So great job right there for a loss. It's going to be third and 11. Acton Box Pro making their moves quickly here. Trying to keep the Rockets off balance. Right there underneath, and he drops it again. Dana, Dana Isbell right on him. There was going to be no gain there. Dana about to wrap him up, and number 23 uh, drops another one. Nonetheless, there was a little, looks like a little bit of a uh, mismatch. There was a guy who was uncovered on the top for Acton Box, but if he looked right, he might have had something. Clearly, that was the play they called, though. Here we go. Throws it underneath a little bit high. Not only high, but probably ill-advised because both Deemer and Isbell were all over number 23. So that's a quick four downs right there, and they're going to turn over the ball, and the Rocket offense is going to take over. So that was quick, huh, Brian? Yep. Looked like one one, one uh, run for a loss and three incomplete passes. That, that, that whole series took about 15 seconds. Chill out here. I think they're pulling him off. Here we go. Deemer and Perez will be your backers. Oh, sorry, sorry. A split, split left. It moves so quickly, I thought we were still on defense. Deemer keeps it, and he gets wrapped up almost immediately, number 17. So Deemer's going to get pushed back for a, a two yard loss there. It was so quick, Brian, I didn't realize we were on offense again. Yeah. I closed my eyes for a minute, and that's what happened. So we're in the fourth down here. Perez has got the offense out there again. Foxy goes out for the snap. Perez flanked by Deemer. Going to be a keeper for Perez. They are all over him immediately. And he still turns us into something. He's on his feet. He's not going to get caught. Oh, boy. That's just an athlete making a play right there. Nick Perez had nothing. Two guys on him in the backfield. He breaks two tackles there. He breaks two beyond the line of scrimmage and just runs away with it. And he was he was running away with that type of speed that Nick has in the open field. I was just about to say, I'd love to see a little bit more time for Nick, see if he could throw the ball out there. Who needs to throw when you can run like that? So Nick Perez rips off about a 42-yard touchdown right there to put the Rockets up 20 to nothing here in the fourth. Huge play, and that one was all Perez. Sends Nick in for the extra point here. Or 
or extra points as it may be. Patrick Keenan in there, 81. Mike Lloyd over there, Mike DiPietro split left. To see him throw one underneath to those guys. A couple of speedsters out left. This Perez, it's a high snap, and he's got to get around it. He's looking to throw the ball. He pulls it down, and Nick's going to dive in there, put his hand over. So another broken play, and Perez just does what he does. It's an athletic play. It was a little bit of a high snap, and there was some good pressure. So Nick had to bail out of the pocket. He was still looking to throw it, and he saw the open seam and reached for the line and got it. So two more points for the Rockets. And as we sit here in the fourth quarter, it's Redding 22, Acton Boxborough, nothing. There you go. Yep. 48, West Coston hopping in there right now. On the kickoff, I think Lindmark's usually in there, so they pulled him in. Coston Tice left. DiCrescenzo. Kyle Flanagan as well. Foxy getting ready for the kickoff. Nice boot by Foxy there. Fielded cleanly by 23 at the 22-yard line. Sprints out left. He gets outside. Nice job there. And Flanagan pulls him down. Good job by Kyle. So good job by once again. I said 23. He got outside. And uh, he's turned a couple of nice uh, returns here. Acton Boxberg is going to take over first and 10 from their own 45. But Kyle Flanagan made a great play over there. And lucky for number 23 he did because number 52, Dom G. Crescenzo, is right behind him. He's ready to push him right into the woods over by Coolidge. So Rockets... See who we have in there right now. Dave Swanson's in there on the line. Foxy's in there. Max Ramos is in the inside handoff, number four, and he gets tripped up immediately. Damari comes in, closes the door, and he's been all over them from the li linebacker position today. Linebackers in there. We have Damari, Dana Isbell. Flanagan's over there. Switching too. a few. Flanagan is in there, number three. And it looks like we get a timeout here by uh, Acton Boxborough. Linebackers, we got Dana Isbell, Damari, Deemer, and Flanagan. Back deep speeds to Mike DiPietro. And I got to get number 26. I don't have him written down. Kunch Patel. Uh, what's that name? Kunch Patel. Ah, there we go. Kunch Patel back deep. Free safety. There's a throw underneath here. Oh, good coverage right there was Isbell all over him. And tell you for as good an athlete number 23 he's had a lot of drops right in his hands today but he's also had guys all over him so looks like third down here is that correct yeah I think so. could be could be they call that timeout so third and eight here inside handoff number four nice athletic move and Damari says no again he is seeing number 11 in his nightmares mm -hmm. because he looks like he's got open space and Damari <laughs> takes him down Every time. Isbell comes out. Wes Costin goes in. Linebacker. Fourth down play here. Inside handoff to number four. Oh, who else? Got a big hole in front of him, and Damari crushes him. Number four has got to be, he's seeing, he's seeing the train coming at him with the lights. He can't get off the track. So Damari crushes him for fourth down, and the Rockets are going to take over here. Had a couple of those very quick four and outs for Acton Boxboy. They can't get anything going today. And it doesn't matter which offense or defense are in there for the Rockets. So great showing compared to last week. I say compared to last week because we really had just a few um, practices, right? Yeah. What, what, what wonders a, a week does under your belt, right? So Mike DiPietro's in there, number two. Perez goes in with a play. Joe Gilligan on the right side along with Sean Cronin. Patel split far right. Perez is going to keep it behind Deemer, and he gets met, met immediately. Number 54 is in there, Masuch, but I tell you, the, the, the offensive line here, or the defensive line, uh, has been in the backfield much of the second half for the Rockets, so they haven't been able to pull anything off except for the, the one or two broken plays that turned into points, which was Perez. So we call it second and 12. Nick comes in with the play. Yeah. 
flanked by Deemer. I'd like to see him loft one up to Mike DiPietro right down the seam. He does swing it out here. Swings it out left, and that's uh, looks like Ferrante. Is that number 14? Is that him? I think it is. So it looks like they had a, they had a screen pass out left, swing pass, and they had one out right that could have went to DiPietro. He could have went either way. Both of those guys were open. I actually think that was that could have been Michael Lloyd, 17. His father will give me grief if I got the wrong name, right? So we'll call Lloyd and Ferrante. And just, uh, <laughs> I'll get no uh, crazy phone calls during the week. You didn't mention my son's name correctly. Third and five here. Clear four down territory. See if we can give Nick some time here. Throw the ball. He throws it underneath. Oh, man, wide open was Patel and just threw it underneath. If he hit him in stride, he was wide open. Very well set up play. Good looking play. He just threw it a little bit low. And he was open, so good looking play. First time, uh, you know, still rushed a little bit, Perez, but I'd like to see him throw the ball. This That one just happened to be a little bit uh, at his feet. So James Neff Gatchel, 87, comes in. Out goes Patel. In comes Perez with the play. It's got to be getting late here, Brian. Yeah, it's going to be late. 22 before. nothing. Ace Bryson has just ditched us up here. He's, he's, he's at 14 nothing. He says, I got to go home. And he did, you know, the clock. <laughs> just abandoned the clock. Says, Redding's got this on hand. Fourth and five. I'd like to see him get a new set of chains here. Inside handoff to Deemer. He gets met immediately in the backfield for a loss of one. And Acton Boxer was going to take over, but it looks like. Getting very close to the end of the game here. Maybe one more set of downs here for uh, Acton Boxborough. We'll see if we can get a time for you. Well, first and 10 here for Acton Boxborough. Inside handoff to number four. Who else? 11. Every time he gets the ball, Damari crunches him for a loss or a very, very short gain. So, like I said, the ability to close that hole, they don't have an answer for Damari up the middle. They don't have anyone who's getting in his way. They should be spying him, put their best athlete on him, see if they can get someone to put a block on him. There's a pass here underneath. This time, number 23 pulls it in, and he's got room. Right there, number 84, Jonathan Grady. Speeds to pulls him down, but this time right up the seam, and 23 pulls it in for a big gain. His quarterback thrilled to see that after a number of drops before that. So great play right up the middle. Had some room, and Grady's one of the fastest guys on the team, so he pulled him down. That great play by Jonathan to save a touchdown. I mean, first and ten, like in the red zone here. He's back to pass, throws it underneath, and it's tipped by Damari. Good coverage right there by Kyle Flanagan, number three, but Damari got his hand on it. That play took all of two seconds, and we got a second and 10 upcoming. A.B. would love to get on the board here late in the game. Wasted no time in the no huddle. Goes back, handoff right up the middle. Do I have to say it? I don't yeah. have to say it. You know who hit him. He hit him in the backfield. Damari. He must have 10 tackles on that kid number four today. Yeah. But he's one of the best players on the field out there. All times he's there. Looks like a timeout here. Hey, Brian, just to get back to you, did you um, did you um, see those discount cards for RMHS football? Oh, yeah. You know what I love? All the people who put on Facebook, my kids selling, uh, selling yeah, cards. Yeah. And then they just send it out to all the people on the football team. Yeah. You know what? I think that's such a good deal. I bought 10 of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I bought 10. Let me see if I can make uh, Dan Oakey go out and actually sell a few, get get our money back, right? Yeah, but yeah. But they do have some great deals on there. They do. Yeah, I already use it for Harrow's and Anthony's. Oh, what's better than Harrow's chicken pie, huh? Oh, dude, they're good. I was down at the Reading Street Fair, and I just kept circling back. Oh, yeah. I circled samples. back <laughs> seven, <laughs> 17 samples. times, and I ate at what was the equivalent of an entire chicken pie. On the donut, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the donut, right? <laughs> I saw you. Did I see you with a satchel? You were actually throwing little cups into a bag, <laughs> right? Yeah, keeping them dinner. You had a crock pot with you. You just <laughs> threw them right in there. And that might not have been appropriate, but nonetheless, right. it was effective, right? Exactly. So Harrow's chicken pie is one of the best. 
And they're on the they're on the card. So here we go. It's going to be third and twelve. He's going to pass here. He's got time. He lofts it underneath. Number twenty three is wide open, and he's in for the touchdown. So you probably just saw my head uh, duck it in there, but this time he waits, pumps. Number 23 is wide open, and Acton Boxborough gets on the board. So nice throw this time from number 10 to 23. They connect. Certainly a couple of A.B.'s best athletes, those two guys. They get on the board. It's 22-6 right now. They're going to go for two. Throws it underneath, and he's open. Number 23 pulls it in, so he gets the two. 10 to 23, two times in a row. They put eight up on the board, and it looks like, do they call this game here? Or they get some guys running across? Looks like we're getting ready for the kickoff, so we have 22 to eight at this point, if we have it correctly. Yeah. I'm listening to uh, Laura Deemer down there give the incorrect um, um, score. score. Yep. And she used to be a neighbor of mine. And um, she used to be trustworthy, but not anymore. She moved <laughs> away, and she's given the wrong score down there. 21-7. I like to bring up some of the parents that I know so they can listen later and then say, w why are you talking about me? Yeah, right. right <laughs> cable? I, I've never seen so many people be nice to me during the week, Brian. <laughs> hey, Oki, how you doing? <laughs> Tell you, Thursday night we got our Fridays and Saturdays open. Looks like another win for the Rockets. I don't want to say where I like to go after these uh, after these big wins, but it rhymes with swillies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. It's a kickoff. 22 to 8. It's got to be late here. Got to be late. Back deep is Conroy and Thornton. It's a short squib kick. This is going to go to – Hobby goes down right there. He would have loved to have brought that back. Evan Tice, he went down to one knee, but that's fine. That's a good play right there. Pick it up, goes to one knee, and we got to be getting late here. It looks like they are lining up right here for the game, and that's going to be it. For the Rockets here, hey, very, very well-played game for the Rockets here. You know, kudos to Acton Boxborough for taking this game on very short notice. But the Rockets came out, and they set the tone very early. Big plays by Thornton and Damari all day. Damari both sides of the ball. Um, a lot of great plays, but Nick Perez, very, very athletic plays here. But the Rockets pretty much had this one in hand, and it wasn't really even as close as the 22-8 to score. So they look like they've come a very, very long way in just a week. And uh, credit to the coaching staff because they got an awful lot of the 38-man roster in there today, Brian. Yeah. So great win for the Rockets. I think we're next next game is, uh, I think, uh, next Saturday. Saturday at 9 a.m. Week Lexington. from Saturday against Lexington. You know if that's here or there? Here. Right back here. You know me, I don't like to travel. Oh, yeah. We're you home know? for the next two. So sounds great. Hey, listen, Brian. I'm going to give you a B minus today. All right, thanks. Man. Yeah, that's listen. That's excellent for you. It's it excellent is. for you. I'll take it. All right, so listen, we will see you uh, back here at about a week from Saturday against Lexington. You know it. Nice job, right? The Rockets two and zero. Oh. See you. Yeah. First and ten here for Acton Boxborough. Inside handoff to number four. Who else? Eleven. Every time he gets the ball, Damari crunches him for a loss or a very, very short gain. So, like I said, the ability to close that hole, they don't have an answer for Damari up the middle. They don't have anyone who's getting in his way. They should be spying him, put their best athlete on him, see if they can get someone to put a block on him. There's a pass here underneath. This time, number 23 pulls it in, and he's got room. Right there, number 84, Jonathan Grady, speeds to pulls him down. But this time right up the seam and 23 pulls it in for a big game. His quarterback thrilled to see that after a number of drops before that. So great play right up the middle. Had some room and Grady's one of the fastest guys on the team so he pulled him down. That great play by Jonathan to save a touchdown. I mean first and 10 like in the red zone here. He's back to pass, throws it underneath and it's tipped by Damari. Good coverage right there by Kyle Flanagan, number three, but Damari got his hand on it. That play took all of two seconds, and we got a second and ten upcoming. A.B. would love to get on the board here late in the game. Wasted no time in the no huddle. His back handoff right up the middle. Do I have to say it? I don't yeah. have to say it. You know who hit him. He hit him in the backfield. Damari. He must have 10 tackles on that kid number four today. Yeah. 
but he's one of the best players on the field out there. All times he's there. Looks like a timeout here. Hey, Brian, just to get back to you, did you um, did you um, see those discount cards for RMHS football? Oh yeah. You know what I love? All the people who put on Facebook, my kids selling uh, selling yeah, cards, yeah. and then they just send it out to all the people on the football team. Yeah. You know what? I think that's such a good deal. I bought ten of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I bought ten. Let me see if I can make uh, Dan Oki go out and actually sell a few. Get get our money back, right? Yeah, but yeah. they do have some great deals on there. They do. Yeah, I already use it for Harrow's and Anthony's. Oh, what's better than Harrow's chicken pie, huh? Oh, dude, they're good. I was down at the Reading Street Fair, and I just kept circling back. Oh, yeah. I circled samples. back <laughs> se <laughs> 17 samples. times, and I ate at what was the equivalent of an entire chicken pie on oh, the yeah. donut. Yeah, yeah. On the donut, right? <laughs> I saw you. Did I see you with a satchel? You were actually throwing little cups into a bag, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, keeping them from dinner. You had a crock pot with you. You just <laughs> threw them right in there. And that, that might not have been appropriate, but nonetheless... It was effective, right? Exactly. So Harrow's chicken pie is one of the best, and they're on the they're on the card. So here we go. It's going to be third and twelve. So pass here. He's got time. He lofts it underneath. Number twenty three is wide open, and he's in for the touchdown. So you probably just saw my head uh, duck it in there, but this time he waits, pumps. Number twenty three is wide open, and Acton Boxburg gets on the board. So nice throw this time from number ten to twenty three. They connect. Certainly a couple of A.B.'s best athletes, those two guys. They get on the boards 22-6 right now. They're going to go for two. Throws it underneath, and he's open. Number 23 pulls it in, so he gets the two. 10 to 23, two times in a row. They put eight up on the board, and it looks like, do they call this game here? Or they get some guys running across? Looks like we're getting ready for the kickoff, so we have 22 to 8 at this point, if we have it correctly. Yeah. I'm listening to uh, Laura Deemer down there give the incorrect um, um, score. score. Yeah. And she used to be a neighbor of mine, and um, she used to be trustworthy, but not anymore. She moved <laughs> away, and she's giving the wrong score down there, 21-7. I'd like to bring up some of the parents that I know so they can listen later and then say, why are you talking about me? Yeah, right. Red cable? <laughs> I've never seen so many people be nice to me during the week, Brian. <laughs> hey, Oki, how you doing? Yeah. Tell you, Thursday night we got our Fridays and Saturdays open. Looks like another win for the Rockets. Yep. I don't want to say where I like to go after these uh, after these big wins, but it rhymes with Swillies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. It's a kickoff. 22 to 8. It's got to be late here. Got to be late. Back deep is Conroy and Thornton. It's a short squib kick. This is going to go to... Up, he goes down right there. He would have loved to have brought that back. Evan Tice, he went down to one knee, but that's fine. That's a good play right there. Pick it up, goes to one knee, and we're going to be getting late here. It looks like they are lining up right here for the game, and that's going to be it for the Rockets here. Hey, very, very well-played game for the Rockets here. You know, Kudos to Acton Boxborough for taking this game on very short notice, but the Rockets came out, and they set the tone very early. Big plays by Thornton and Damari all day. Damari both sides of the ball. Um... A lot of great plays, but Nick Perez, very, very athletic plays here. But the Rockets pretty much had this one in hand, and it wasn't really even as close as the 22-8 to score. So they look like they've come a very, very long way in just a week. And uh, credit to the coaching staff because they got an awful lot of the 38-man roster in there today, Brian. Yeah. So great win for the Rockets. I think we next next game is, uh, I think, uh, next Saturday. Saturday at 9 a.m. Week from Saturday against Lexington. You know if that's here or there? Here. Right back here. You know me, I don't like to travel. Oh, yeah. We're you home know? for the next two. So, sounds great. Hey, listen, Brian, I'm going to give you a B- minus today. All right, thanks. Man. Yeah, that's listen, that's excellent for you. It's it excellent is. for you. I'll take it. All right, so listen, we will see you uh, back here at about a week from Saturday against Lexington. You know it. Nice job, right, Rockets, 2-0. and oh. See you. Yeah.